More about the smoker, Liz Burt spoke to the county health department about how to stay safe. And Liz, they told you who's especially at risk right now? Jeff, they did. It's pregnant people, young children, and people who already have underlying health conditions. And while I don't fall into any of those three categories, I can tell you this smoke that you see behind me is even impacting me, even though I'm a healthy person. My throat hurts, my nose has been running, I've been coughing all day. So really at this point, I think everyone is impacted by this haze. The air quality is, is pretty bad. It's kind of hard to breathe at times, and so I'm kind of sensitive, so I wearing a mask for extra protection. Albi Lemos says even on a short walk with his dog, he's feeling the effects of the unhealthy air quality. Extra congested a little bit. He's not the only one. So we are seeing in many parts of the region this morning air quality that that is in the unhealthy for all groups category. Brendan Haggerty with the Multnomah Health Department recommends staying inside as much as you can today, using an air filter if you have one and doing your best not to make the air quality worse. We can all contribute by avoiding adding to the pollution outdoors. So the county has issued a, a burning advisory today asking people not to burn fires, uh, wood fires at all. Um, you can also help by saving your yard work using lawn equipment for a different day. A representative with Portland Public Schools says today they're keeping students and staff indoors and outdoor after school activities are canceled until at least 6 p.m. They also say they're asking principals to close open windows and doors. The smoky conditions could stick around for a few more days and the county says we can expect more of this in the future because of climate change. Climate change is definitely playing a part here. Yeah, this is this is an extraordinary October. We've had very little rain. It's been very warm. Um, the east winds that we had over the weekend really fueled the wildfires um, and, and caused them to expand. Um, so I think we're I think we're in for a lot of ups and downs as the climate continues to change. And good advice both from Multnomah and Clark counties. They say if you're inside, really avoid any cooking or cleaning that you can. They say that's because when you vacuum, that kicks dust up. And when you cook, it can actually cause some smoke, like if you're frying. So if you need an excuse not to cook and clean tonight, there it is. But really the main advice, stay inside if you can. Back to you. All right.